Radio Room presents. Come on, everyone, follow me. The only way we're going to get out of this alive is if we stick together. There are armed villains roaming the halls. How can you expect us to survive this? Councilman, for someone who calls himself a leader, you're not exactly doing a bang up job of it. And if you're not going to help me carry, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Miss. Mrs. Mrs. Cynthia Davies. But under the circumstances, Cynthia will suffice. Cynthia, pleasure to meet you, despite the circumstances. Now, Councilman, if you're going to continue panicking while not helping me carry Cynthia, then I'll ask you to step aside and let me get these people to safety. <coughs> yes. Very well. How... How can you stay so calm? Because I have two options. Panic or don't. One of them might help me get home to my daughter. The other most certainly won't. Yes. Oh. Yes, I, I can see how that works. Oh, Evan. Oh, John. Uh, you're all right. I've oh. definitely been worse. It's all right, everyone. Stay calm. We're going to be out of this in a minute. What does it look like out there? Uh, not good. I was able to give those goons the slip, but just barely. And our green guy and his new friend? In the wind. He was exposed. He could do more for us out there than in here. You sure about that? What are you two whispering about? Working on a way to get you all out of here safe. That's what you think, copper. Everyone, get down! John, Snyder's been shot! Home, mane, padme, home. The Green Llama strikes for justice! After fighting the Nazis on the front lines, Jethro Dumont has returned to New York to find the city on the brink of a gang war caused by an unknown mastermind. Now, Dumont must once again use his powers to uncover the truth and prevent a citywide massacre as the Green Llama. For those of you who are just joining us, Sarah at City Hall. Earlier today, New York City Councilman Jerome Milligan was killed in an apparent assassination before a bomb was detonated in the building's southern section. Good afternoon, Mr. Mendoza. Sorry I took so long getting to you. We're dealing with the trouble down at City Hall, while also being short a nurse, so we're running a little ragged. I don't know what I'm going to do with that Berkeley girl. I'm going to turn this off for a moment, if you don't mind. It's all right. I was just catching up on the news. Awful, isn't it? I thought that the war would have made us safer, but it seems like things are just getting worse. I was able to help in the war. Now I'm just... Getting better. There's only so far I can get when I'm short of the factory standard. There's not much a one-legged man can do in times like this. A man as handsome as you, Mr. Mendoza. I think it's <laughs> fair to say you're above the factory standard. Now, stay still and take a few deep breaths. Very good. Heart and lungs seem to be operating at factory standard. <sighs> Dear, I know you're not here for your leg. Meaning no offense, but if you're going to give me the pet dog, Hannah, I'd ask you at least do so over a cup of pudding. <laughs> Strapping man like yourself doesn't eat any more sugar, but I'll see what I can do. Also getting unconfirmed reports that the vigilante known as the Riveter was seen inside City Hall shortly prior to the bombing. It is too soon to say whether or not she is Come connected on, to the attack. Where the hell are you? After everything we saw on the front, this should be a cakewalk for you. Can do, Graham. Ken, I'm surprised you're here and not there. No, I told you I was going to be here today. You don't... Ben, we're not going to go over this again. I'm here, and I'm always going to be here. I know. I, I know. I am happy to see you, Ken. Don't think I'm not. It's just hard sitting here when... When we're all running around saving the day? As if we ever really saved the day. Honey, you fought the greatest evil this world has ever known. And you won. For all the good it did us. 
fight's still going on, and I'm... Can you turn on the radio? There's something I wanted to hear. Sure. Yells are still coming in, but it seems like the shootout is occurring to the northeast of City Hall. We do not know how many officers are currently involved. But we he said the shooting is directly to the east of City Hall, right by the municipal building. I, um, yes, that's what he said. Grab those clothes and crutches. We need to get down there as fast as we can. I think I know how we can get everyone out of City Hall alive. Wait. Wait. We also just getting word that there may have been multiple mu- multiple explosions throughout the city. So, you are Jethro Dumont. I am. Berkeley Monroe. Well, this makes everything a lot more interesting, doesn't it, Llama? For you. (laughs) Yeah, I guess it really is that obvious. That's why Richard Foster named you in the pulp so you could hide in plain sight. Wait, what did you mean it's more interesting for me? Berkeley Monroe. Born in Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Raised in New York by Terrence Monroe, a reporter for the Herald Tribune. You work as a nurse at Bellevue Hospital. Shall I go on, or have I proven my point? (sighs) You've proven your point. I'll admit, you didn't make it easy. I'll take that as a compliment. Were you ever going to tell me you were Jethro Dumont? Maybe. The truth of the Green Llama's identity has been met with mixed results. Anyone ever punch you in the face? (laughs) One person has. And does it ever become not strange to refer to yourself in the third person? You get used to it. How did you figure out I was the Riveter? Your voice. I recognized it when we first met as the Llama and the Riveter. I couldn't place it. Then I remembered the young nurse who helped me during the shootout at the hospital. From there, it was just a bit of detective work. One thing I haven't deduced is why you became the Riveter. Why did you become the Green Llama? I figure you at least owe me that. Owe you? You've known who I am for God knows how long. The least you can do is tell me how and why Jethro Dumont, millionaire playboy, became a Buddhist vigilante. I doubt saying that it's complicated would appease you. It certainly wouldn't, Mr. Dumont. Very well. I... What was that? An explosion on the tracks! So hold tight! Ben, take it easy. I'm thrilled you're walking on your own, but we don't... There's no time to take it slow. Caraway, Evangel, and Jethro are down there. They can handle themselves. You heard the radio. They didn't mention the llama. You don't need to be Betty Dale to know that a story as big as this would lead with the world's first and only Buddhist vigilante. They also said there are explosions happening all over the city. No pattern, completely random. That means nowhere's safe, so we might as well help the people we can. But that doesn't mean we should be heading into the fray without anything approaching a plan. Who said we didn't have a plan? Then what is the plan? I need us to get closer to make sure it works. But if I remember correctly, we might just have the right amount of height to do something impressive. Height? Height to do what? Like I said, something impressive. That doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. Not that I don't trust you, or believe in you, but... We can't get a cab or train down there. Not with all the shooting and explosions. Ben, are you listening to me? You're right. I... Yes, I am. Good. Now let's... I'm not strong enough to head down like this. We need transportation. Wait. No. What? There's no way we can get down there. Remind me? Which film was it that you learned how to ride a horse? Two for a dream. Why? Berkeley! <laughs> Berkeley! Are you alright? Berkeley! That's a nifty trick. Teach it to me sometime? How are you feeling? D- did the train explode? I think we can assume it's the same people who bombed City Hall. But right now, I'm more concerned about you. Are you okay? 
Sure. Yeah. About as good as one can be when... Under the circumstances... You? I've been hit by worse. Here, let me help you up. God. So dark. I never realized how dark it can get down here. The lights are always on, so you don't think about it. We need to see if there's anyone else on the train. Where do we start? We should... Head toward the front car. The train was out of service... But that still means there's the conductor and the engineer. They'll need help. How will we get there? Hmm. I don't think it's safe to get out onto the tracks. We'll need to climb through each car. Let me see if I can get this door to open. It won't budge. Step back. There we are. Remind me to never challenge you to an arm wrestle. I'm guessing that power is from your radioactive salts? Ah, yes. I forgot Richard had mentioned them in his novels. I always figured them to be something of poetic license. Irradiated salts that could give you abilities beyond mortal men? That's just ridiculous. Well, technically, there were two kinds of salts. Wait. The radioactive salts were real? Do you still have them? Not in a long time. So, your super strength is from... Long story. Here, climb through. Hello? Is anyone in here? Anyone hurt? I think it's still just us. We should check the next car. Are you sure? Someone might be hurt. Very good. I think I see a someone. There, under that bit of metal. Step back. I'll get them clear. It's the conductor. He's unconscious. Can you hold that up? I once got into a fist fight with a god. I think I can manage this. <laughs> You're telling me that story once we're out of here. Let's hope he doesn't wake up just yet. Neither of us are wearing masks. He won't notice. You sure? Trust me. He'll be in shock. Last thing he'll be thinking about is whether two stowaways are masked vigilantes. All right. I need to make sure it's safe to move him. Hold tight. don't feel anything broken. Can't tell if there's any internal bleeding, but... We can't leave him under there. It should be safe to move him. All right, I'm secure. On three. One, two, three! (coughs) All right. I've got his left side. You take his right. He's clear. (sighs) Come on, buddy. Let's see those eyes open. What, What happened? Who, who are you? Let's start with the easy answers. I'm Berkeley. This is Jethro. What's your name? I... Will. My name's Will. Will. Pleasure to meet you. You're the conductor, right? Yeah. Yeah. I... There was supposed to be no one on this train. We were headed back to the yard because of City Hall. How did you... It doesn't matter right now. Do you think you can stand? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Here, let me help you up. Yeah, now I remember. Oh, guy. The bomb. He's at the front of the train. That means... Ah, oh, Nathan, he was driving. We can go check and see if... No use. I heard him over the radio when the explosion hit, just before I was knocked out. We were talking to dispatch about explosions happening across the city before we were hit. You think they're connected? Most likely. Did they say where the explosions occurred? My memory's a little... Hazy, uh, but I think I heard one went off in Central Park and another in the village. M- maybe two in Brooklyn? That tell you anything? It sounds almost completely random. Almost completely random isn't completely random. They're spread out across the city, meaning the police would be spread thin. To what end? Rob banks? I've got a feeling this is a lot bigger than robbing banks. Keep them moving! Keep them moving! I'm trying. Damn it, these gunmen won't quit. Come on, Councilman, stay with me. I know you're lightheaded, but that's only blood loss, right? It leaves just my shoulder, right? Where are we taking them, Commissioner? Anywhere clear of gunfire. We don't have a lot of options. Wait, we're right by my office. We should be able to duck in there and bar the door. You think that will be enough? Enough to buy some time and maybe get me some 
equipment or bandaging. Your office has a phone that that might be all we need to get us out of here. It's this way, right, Councilman? Yep. Just around the corner. He's got stones. I'll give him that. Let's save the praise until after we survive this, Evangel. hearing anyone outside. Probably because everyone's out the house and is in the room. Shh, quiet. All of you, I need to listen. Christ. You think the coast is clear? Not at all. But I think it should be safe to make a call to the outside. My phone is on my desk. I'll have to climb over a few people to get to it. Uh, I think I can manage. Evangel, here. Hold on to this. Guard the door. No offense, men, councilmen. There's nothing I don't trust Evangel with. Plus, I'm right-handed, so this damn bullet wound makes me all but useless. You can be my eyes, Councilman. How about that? Just as long as I'm doing something. Both of you stay sharp. Hopefully help is coming soon. Pardon me, but... Excuse me. That man is a bulldog. Hmm. You have no idea. Do you remember the Natives Mafia? The Irish mobsters who put on feather headdresses and painted their skin red? One of those idiots stabbed Carraway with a sword during a bank heist about nine years ago. Carraway was back on the job the next day. I don't need to tell you that was probably a bad idea. That tenacity was why the powers that be made him commissioner. It's why he's still fighting now. That's fair. I didn't catch your name before. Evangel. Evangel Stewart Brown. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Stewart Brown, despite the circumstances. Thank you for helping me with my wound. Least I could do. I'm not sure it stopped the bleeding, but it looks like it stemmed it a little bit. I'll tell you one thing. It still hurts like the dickens. <coughs> now I know why I recognized your name. The Crimson Hand Affair. Oh, I really wish I wasn't best known for being kidnapped by a madman in a mask. But yes, that was me. I can only imagine what that was like. Sort of like this. It wasn't the worst thing I've been through, but it was certainly the first. There was a lot of that back in the day, wasn't there? It seemed like every other day there was a news story about a madman holding up a bank or a costume vigilante fighting some kind of robot. I was only a kid, but from what I remember, it definitely felt like the world was ending every day. Well, not every day. <laughs> Fair. I just wonder what my dad would make of all this. I barely knew him. He's always traveling, trying to make the world a better place. What did he do, your father? Hmm? Oh, just a low-level flunky in some kind of government organization. But he loved the job, believed in it. If I'm being honest, I think that's why I went into politics. He dedicated his whole life to bring order to the chaos. Maybe I could do the same. But I think the thing he never understood was in order to make order... Needs to be some chaos first. Funny how our parents can define our lives, even if they don't intend to. I think about that every time I leave Marie. Your daughter? She's almost eight now. And she's with your husband? Her father passed some time ago. I'm sorry to hear that. The war, I take it? A war, at least. I was able to get in touch with the uh, precinct. They're going to radio our location to the men outside and see if they can help us sneak out that window. And if not, find us a way out without drawing the attention of our friends in the hallway. There was one too many ifs in that plan. It's what we got, Councilman. If you've got something better, I know plenty of your constituents who would love to hear it. Fine, fine. Let's just hope all those ifs don't get us killed. <sighs> yeah, that's the attitude we need. This is absolutely insane. Don't tell me you're not loving it, even just a little bit. I'm loving seeing you act like yourself again, but I'm worried that we're running before we can walk. Is that a crack about my leg? No, I... I I'm kidding. Well, ha ha. I'm riding a damn horse in the middle of Manhattan toward what will most likely be certain death, while the love of my life is making lame jokes. I could revert to morose if you prefer. Let's not and say we did. We're getting closer. You're sure about this? No. It's risky and stupid, but 
Then again, when have our plans been anything but? I heard this song before. But this time I can't really dance to it. You don't need to dance. Just lead. I think I can manage that. I love you, my big old panda. I love you too. Now let's try not to die today so we can enjoy tonight. We should be safe walking up to the next station. Dispatch will shut down the system. Why don't you lead the way? You know these tunnels. True. But I can't say I ever walked the tracks before. I always wanted to. If we're being honest. Ever since I was a kid. You know, it's dark, mysterious, dangerous. Your lady is one strange girl. She is not I my lady. I am not his lady. Don't ever get that She's thought in your head. Apprentice? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. At times like these, we all need to stick together. That being said, I'll move up ahead. Make sure everything's in the clear. Well... Now that we have a few minutes to ourselves, you can tell me your secret origin. <laughs> it's not much of a secret. In fact, you know most of it already. Much of what Richard wrote in his pulps and comics were based on the truth. I spent ten years in Tibet, and when I returned home, I witnessed a shooting that left a child dead. When the law could not bring the murderers to justice, I chose to use all I had learned to restore some balance to karma, and maybe lead by example. One thing I could never wrap my head around... Buddhists believe in peace, right? In non-violence. For the most part, anyway. And yet, you use violence to fight crime. And the war. The war was different. You know what happened. We all do. Millions upon millions of innocent lives lost. So many turned a blind eye as long as they could, because it wasn't happening to them. I wouldn't do that. What happens to one, happens to all. Suffice it to say, it was why I was fighting on the front lines before Pearl Harbor. I thought if I was there, fighting, it meant every bullet shot at me wasn't used on a child. Yeah. That's probably a good reason to use violence. <clears throat> Your turn. Hmm? Your secret origin. Thought you had figured that out. I know the what, not the how. Fair. All right. I'll give you the short version. It was just me and my dad for most of my life. You already know my dad was a reporter. He never got a major story, but he always knew what was happening around the city. All the corruption, the crimes that weren't reported. He also knew that you weren't just a myth. He made sure I knew, so that when I read the pulps and the comics, I could see there were facts in the fiction. It wasn't just because you like Richard's prose? Well, that didn't hurt. But... The stories, the pulps, and the ones my dad told me showed me that even in the darkest times, people will stand up and fight for what's right. That people will help each other. That's why I became a nurse, in a way. I wanted to help people. I couldn't become a cop, and I didn't have my dad's gift for writing, so I went into medicine. What made you put on the mask? The Lady Lama. The Lady Lama. The woman who took over for you. I first thought she really was a myth. I mean, a woman vigilante. But about seven years back, I was walking home after a long shift, and these muggers jumped me. Looks all clear up ahead. Great. We'll be right there. You'll have to tell me about the Lady Lama later. I need to hear about her. I... Sure. Of course. Like I said, the entire system's been shut down. We can climb out at this station and get topside. There's a ladder that'll get us up onto the platform. Excellent. When we get above ground, you need to find a doctor, Will. There's a very good chance you got a concussion in the blast. I'll do that, miss. What about you two? That's gunfire. I hear it, too. You still have your mask, right? Stuffed it in my pocket. Will, we're gonna find a phone and call the police. Let them know about the bombing. Stay here. We'll make sure we get an ambulance for you. I... Yeah, okay. Stay safe, you two. And thank you. That's coming from City Hall. I won't bother asking how you know that. What are we going to do? We're not exactly dressed for the occasion. We're only a few blocks from Bowery and Doyers. Yes, and? Nurses have lockers, right? Uh, yeah. So do I. Several, in fact. 
You cannot be serious. Always be prepared, Berkeley Monroe. Always be prepared. Commissioner, I demand you tell us what your plan is. I will tell you, Councilman Druthers, when the time is right. And when will that be? Hmm? Before or after those gunmen outside kill us? <clears throat> you ever try having a modicum of patience, Councilman? We're all in this together. Stop, both of you. If we start going at each other's throats, we're all going to end up six feet under. And considering I'm the one who was shot, I have some valid concerns about that. <sighs> Can't say I disagree with you, Snyder. I get that you're scared, sir. But trust me, when I say that a plan is in place to get us out of this alive, we just need to wait. What was that? That might be our cue. There we are. Sergeant Whelan? Commissioner, we've managed to draw the gunman to the other side of the building. Excellent. That should give us enough time to start sending people out. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down, everyone. Listen. We're going to start filing people out down the ladder one at a time. We don't know how much time we have, but even so, we can't rush this. You rush, you risk killing yourself and all of us. That understood? Yeah, yeah. yeah Very good. Yeah, 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 makes sense. Now, let's start with you, ma'am. Come on. Oh, thank you, Commissioner. Move faster, woman. I need to get out. Just for that, Councilman, I'm going to move you to the back of the line. Let him go, John. We wouldn't want the gunman to harm the weaker sex. <laughs> Ma'am, I take exception to that. Dress that wounded pride when we're clear outside, Councilman. We're on a schedule. You think the horse will be safe, Ben? We're clear of the shooting back here. Doesn't mean it won't head this way. Then we need to hurry and make sure this works, don't we, Ken? Lama! I'd ask how the hell you found us, but I've worked with you too long to question all the things you do. Who's your friend? The Riveter. Pleased to meet ya. Wait, you're Ken Clayton, right? My mom had the biggest crush on you, back when you were a big star. I still am a big... How old are you? Twelve? None of your business, Hollywood. Ben, it's good to see you out of the hospital. But I'm not sure this is the best place for you to be. I'm done sitting, waiting for the world to make sense. Figured I'd do what we did in the war and attack the issue head on. What was your plan? You remember that small French town we hit a few days after D-Day? That doesn't exactly narrow it down. The church and the bell tower. Exactly. Yes, that could work. Does someone want to catch me up? We better walk while we talk. Time is of the essence. Green Company was making our way east. We had the lava with us, so we were able to move through the Nazis fairly easily. But then we hit this town in the north. The Nazis had taken half the town, the Allies the other. The town square was essentially no man's land. The Nazis had taken up a theater, set up snipers in the second floor. That was too close. This is nothing compared to what we had to deal with in France. The streets were narrow, so we couldn't get our tanks in. And if our men made their way in, we were dead. What we're looking at here is the same thing. City Hall is surrounded by police, but the gangsters or terrorists or whatever they are have the building locked down. That means they can fire from the second story windows, and even if we were able to make our way in, they would have the high ground. Every staircase is a potential kill box. Okay, that answered a few of my questions before I asked them. Even if we made it through, going in through the ground floor would be more risk than reward. Exactly. That means the only way in is from above. The only way we were able to take out the Nazis pulled up in the theater was to find something higher. In that case, the church's bell tower. The municipal building is the tallest building near City Hall. All we need to do is head up these stairs and... You need to head up there, Lama. You two make sure to stay out of the line of fire. Riveter, with me. Nice meeting you two. Ben, are you all right? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. I would have been no good up there, not with me short a leg. But are you... I'm fine, my love. Today was a little victory. Tomorrow's will be bigger. I don't know, my old panda. Today seemed pretty big to me. Now, let's go return a horse to a very angry fruit seller. Alright, who's next? Okay. Here you go, sir. How many more we got, Be sir? I don't know how much longer our boys can keep the gunfire off us. After him, about five, including me. 
Is everyone getting clear? Yes, sir. We've got a section cordoned off. Excellent. Come over here. Watch your step. I'll need you to get me to base command the moment everyone is clear. You got that? I don't want to leave anything to chance. Understood, sir. This is the last one. You really should have gone first, Councilman. I wouldn't be much of a leader if I jumped when the ship was sinking. Made sure to check we haven't left any stragglers. We're clear. Except for us, of course. Excellent. Evangel, you're up next then. What the hell is that? Boys, get him! Get back uh, from the window! Uh, Wayland, get this guy out of here! What about you, sir? We'll manage! Just run! Damn it! We're almost out of here! You know what they say about horseshoes and hand grenades? Maybe not the best metaphor, Evangel. We're pinned in here. We can't go out the window and we can't risk heading into the hallways. Tell me one of you llama people have some kind of plan. Plans have never been our strong suit. Fantastic. Glad to be part of the winning team. You want the way we're so bad at planning? Because we got too used to relying on Llama X Machina. Get behind me! Way ahead of you, John! Get back! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey! Calm down, Kamish! It's just me! Riveter! Ah! Uh, I thought you and the Llama were- We came back through the roof. Our big Buddhist buddy is taking care of all the goons upstairs, and he sent me down to rescue the survivors of the attack. Is it just the three of you? Just us. The councilman's been shot. We need to get him out of here fast. Well, hurry up, then. We don't want to hold up saving the day too long. Mama ex machina, indeed. Berkeley, welcome to my home. So this is how the other half lives. I've been very lucky. I would be lying if I said I didn't owe all this to my parents, but I hope I've done something more with their largesse rather than just spend it. Is that Buddha made of solid gold or is it just plated? Berkeley? Sorry, sorry, it's just... I'm trying to process the fact that I'm in the inner sanctum of the Green Llama. Well, it's just my home. Evan Gull and Marie also live here. Shh, shh, you're ruining it. How are you doing? Besides being overwhelmed. You mean, how am I doing since the city was attacked by terrorists and we almost lost our lives last week? In so many words. Bruised. Afraid. A little. But I'm not holding on to it. That's good. You did really well last week. You were testing me. Yeah, don't look so surprised. I know leading questions when I hear them. You never cease to impress, Berkeley. In fact, it's why I brought you here today. I think it's time we start figuring out who's behind this. Agreed. But where do we start? Well, we start by making some introductions. John, Ken, Evangel, Ben. I'd like you to meet Berkeley Monroe, my partner. The Green Llama, Episode 5, Unmasked. Written by Adam Lance Garcia. The Green Llama created by Kendall Foster Crossan. Produced by Adam Lance Garcia. Directed by Steele Filipek. Sound design by Josh Wilson. Music by Brian Metolius. Featuring the vocal talents of Jean-Marco Ceresi, Sarah Smithton, Dana Aber, Justin Torres, Brett Druck, Mark Bradley Miller, Ben Mendoza, Riley Barrett, Scott Thomas, Kirsten Anderson, Jack Picone, Alex Polin, Steele Filipek, and Adam Lance Garcia. The Green Llama is used by permission of Kendra Cross and Burroughs, all rights reserved. On the next episode... I believe a direct line can be drawn from the breakout of the Giovanni Weinstein War to the terrorist attack. Under his lab coat, he's got a gun! I don't know who you really are, but I doubt you're bulletproof. So why don't you calm down before my trigger finger slips? Good luck to all of us. We'll need it.